For those of you new to our channel, we are Rhonda and Joe with RVing with the Maracas. In this video, we're heading east to visit with Joe's mom for Halloween and he then heading down to Florida for the holiday season to visit with our friends and family. Our favorite campground along this route was Seven Points Campground at Raystown Lake in Hessen, Pennsylvania. We have stayed here before, but this time we got a site right on the lake and it was beautiful. Sunset on the lake. With our fire. And our RV sitting up there. This time around, the leaves were not changing as much throughout the campground as they were last year, but it was still just as enjoyable as we remembered. The campground has wonderful recycled tire walking paths throughout the park with stunning views of the mountains and the lake. She's trying to make me get swimming in there. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. pretty gray rainy day here at the lake but it looks kind of cool I'm out walking this morning it's not really raining it's just kind of drizzling a little bit so I decided to explore the park in the rain we found this great barbecue restaurant just a short distance from the park the mule is the name of the smoker and not the name of the restaurant this was a bit confusing when we were trying to find it Today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about um, what we like about the new travel trailer and the truck versus um, the Class A motorhome that we had, the Thor Axis. Joe, what do you really like about the truck and the travel trailer? Well, driving the Ford F-250 King Ranch Edition is a pleasure compared to driving the, the Thor Axis. It's, yeah. you know, just one, it's... um. Just a really comfortable, quiet, luxurious mm -hmm. ride. You know, uh, we have heated massage seats. Yeah. Um, you know, the air mm -hmm. conditioning, one thing with Thor mm -hmm. is, the air, you know, the truck air conditioner did not cool when it was really hot out, like in Florida. But now, climate mm -hmm. control, we have, you know, mm -hmm. driver and passenger, separate climate control, and it's just... Uh, much more comfortable. Much more comfortable. Yes, it is. Yeah. I guess the thing that I miss about um, the Thor Axis, just one thing, is the, the big front window. Yeah, there were pros and cons to that. It was um, it was uh, <laughs> hot. It did, the light heat did come out the window, but it was nice having the view out the window. Yeah. But as far as the truck, I guess I was reminded that in the Thor Axis, we did go up a few hills that kind of slowed us down. Mm -hmm. We had a V10 gas engine. In this, we have a diesel mm -hmm. Ford F-250, and it's a pretty heavyweight 28-foot trailer. And we were dry, we picked it up in Oregon, and we've been driving in the mountains, and we really haven't felt it at all. It goes up and down just mm -hmm. fine. And almost 90% of the roads, you can use the cruise control to go downhill. Mm -hmm. And we're talking 6 8% grades. Yeah, it, do, it does a really good job. And you really don't even, you feel the trailer behind you, but there's no swerving or anything like that. It really um, does a really nice job pulling the trailer. Yeah. Now, the other thing to miss in the travel, tr in the Thor Axis, you know, you were inside the RV, so you, if you wanted to go to the bathroom mm -hmm. or get something to eat, it was a little easier. Mm -hmm. But that's not really a big deal. Harden Ridge Recreation Area is located on Monroe Lake, south of Bloomington, Indiana. This recreation area offers six campground loops, and a few were closed while we were there. It appeared that there was some type of damage in the area. There's a swimming beach, hiking trails, a boat launch, and much more. It is open from April through mid-October. We spent seven nights there in Site 149.
The campground has this nice trail that runs along the paved road and it connects to each one of the loops of the campsite. It actually is very comfortable to walk. It also heads down to the lake if you go in the other direction. This is a pretty little campsite here. Um, it's up on a bluff. You can look over and see the ravine below. I don't know if you can tell. I guess if you had kids this might be a tough one because if you fell down there it would be a real problem. But it is a really pretty little campsite. There's another one back there in the trees that you can see. These are walk-in tent sites. This is a very pretty campground. The whole campground is filled with these trees. They're nice and green right now. It's the beginning or excuse, in the end of September. And just a few of the leaves have started to change, but not very many. It's really very green and pretty. Very cool in here. The campground has some paved sites. It has some gravel sites. It has some sites that are really unlevel, like this one. You actually have to walk down all these steps to get to your picnic table and fire ring. But you have this just gorgeous view behind you of this ravine and the really pretty trees. The campground has multiple loops. It's fairly large also. We have learned a lot now that we've had it because we, we owned the Thor Axis for a couple years and we had never had a motorhome before. So we really learned a lot about it and backing it in and hooking up the tow car. We really learned a lot. So when we got this one, we had the pickup truck, the F-250, and then we have this 33-foot travel trailer. And we have learned in the last three months of how to get it in and out of the camping spaces. So that's been really a learning experience. I have to sh say a shout out to all the YouTube videos that I have watched. They have been very helpful with figuring out how to turn the truck, how to back the trailer in. I can say we've gotten better at communicating. Um, it's been entertaining at a lot of the campgrounds where some of the spaces have been pretty funky try getting mm -hmm. in, especially here in Florida. Yeah. And all the all the guys are always amazed that Rhonda does such a great job backing in. <laughs> but I couldn't do it without Joe back there right. telling me what not to hit. Ish, any issues with the travel trailer in the first three months? Rhonda's had some issues with the refrigerator mm -hmm. kind of freezing up, not freezing, melting, it, just the temperature controls. Yeah, if anybody has any comments about that, please let me know. The, the refrigerator, the, the dripping water freezes. So I have to go in and pry out the ice where the water should be dripping down the little hole, um, you know, every couple just of days. Just an annoyance. It's just annoying, yeah. But it, you know, the temperature is uh, correct in there. It just yeah, it, freezes it, it, the water. It works. Um, mm -hmm. Just something that we've just recently found is for the refrigerator, the outside vent for the refrigerator... Somehow, when we first got it, it was flat and sealed in where it's supposed to go. But somehow, one side of it is kind of bent out a little bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that was heat, cold, or getting bent. But we had a problem where we had some water come in through that vent. Mm -hmm. And that was troubling. Alarming. Anytime you see water inside yeah. an RV, yeah. It's like, but oh, freak one out. good thing about mm -hmm. the way this travel trailer was built, the vinyl is underneath the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So it really just stayed on top of the vinyl mm -hmm. and we were cleaned it. We caught it within an hour, half mm -hmm. an hour of when yeah. it came in. And I just put, we bought some black duct tape and I fixed it. You did, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't really even see the tape. Yeah. And I think um, some of the water might even come when we pull in the awning. The um, awning tilts back toward the travel trailer, so a lot of the water comes in right on top of the windows. And I wonder if the water came in that way. There, there is. We we still have to do something with the awning. Mm -hmm. When it rains, like right up against the edge of the trailer, it 
leaks a little bit. And mm -hmm. One of the main spots is right by that fan. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, I'm not sure. So another annoying thing about this travel trailer, and it just, we've been, we read the instruction manual and it gives us all this information, but the, the slide is yeah. really long. It's 13 feet long and it holds water on the top of it. The slide the slide topper. topper. Oh, yeah. And um, that just bothers me. You know, I, th I think it should be tilted so it doesn't do that. But we haven't. Um, we're in Florida. We bought the unit in Oregon. So we really don't have any place to take it to have that checked out. And in the manuals and everything, we've gone back through it. And everybody yeah. says they all do it. Um, so we've been closing the slide when it gets a lot of water in it. Or um, just going up and sweeping the water off the roof. So that seems to be working really well. And we haven't had any water inside the RV from the slide topper, so that's been good. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Coon Creek is our third favorite park on this route. We only spent three nights and we're in Site 81 at this campground. It is a large campground that sits on the western shore of Lake Shelbyville in the heart of central Illinois. It has a playground, swimming area, and shaded campsites. The lake and surrounding land offer fishing, swimming, picnicking, and simply relaxing. We thought it was a very nice campground. So overall, do you think it's been a good um, yes. trade? Oh, oh yes, mm -hmm. I would definitely. I'm very happy with it. I mm -hmm. mean, me too. Overall, we spent quite a bit more money in total, but we're happy with it. Mm -hmm. um, we went to the Tampa RV show, and we looked at a lot of travel trailers. And I, it's definitely in the travel trailer category. I didn't see anything that I liked near as much as this. I, you know, the colors are, um, this, this is a dark RV inside, which you'll see when I do my video and you've probably seen it if you've watched the Thompson RV videos, it is dark inside. And, um, that is something that I didn't like as much, but I have to tell you the floor <laughs> being dark is great because you can't see anything on it. I mean, it's, it, there's, you know, it doesn't show the dirt or anything like that. So that's been kind of good. Um, so back to comparing the, just the trade from the Thoraxis to the travel trailer. I like this one so much better. It's it's we've got more room. Um, the refrigerator is bigger. I love my um, gas stove, stove and having an oven. Um, the sink there's just much more counter space and um, it's just it's just easier to live in because there's just a little bit more space. I love the two doors on yeah, it's the not travel even trailer. Close. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice having a separate door in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. I don't think we would, some of them have a door in the bedroom and then a door in the living area. I don't think I would have liked that, but having one in the bathroom mm -hmm. is good because it's really good. one, you can just go right into the bathroom or depending on privacy issues, you can just leave the door open in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. You get a lot of fresh air yeah. in there, which is really nice. Yeah. But we did want to give you just an overview of how we felt about um, trading from one unit to another. And it really has been a positive experience. We've um, had a few close calls with backing the trailer in, but we haven't heard anything. And we feel like we've really learned a lot over the last few months. It's, it's getting easier and easier. And everybody at all the campsites have been really helpful. I and mean, yeah. it's been really a positive experience. No scratches yet. Yes, we're in good shape. We visited two Harvest Host sites during this trip, Arcadian Moonery, a restaurant and winery located near Higginsville, Missouri. We had a lovely dinner, wine, and met some new friends. The second Harvest Host site was McDonald's Greenhouse located near Zanesville, Ohio. We had been to this location before. It was all decorated for fall and the fudge was delicious. Thanks for watching and be sure to like the video and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Feel free to leave us a comment and tell us what you think. We'll be happy to respond.